Spirituality represents the deepest part of what it really means to be human. We all have a need for connection, for being connected to, and particularly around the end of life, because it's when we're approaching our end of life, matters of mortality and spirituality come sharply into focus, because all of a sudden, people are facing that big question, why me? And maybe, you know, they're asking that question of themselves for the first time in their lives, which brings us round to really what we're talking about today in terms of, you know, that spirituality piece, you know, which is the essence of me that makes me uniquely me and that this me, this life that I've lived to today, now is suddenly coming to a close. So instantly that's going to bring up for me big, huge questions, existential questions like what's it been about, you know, regrets, relationship, uh, the life I've lived. Have I always been true to myself? Have I always done my own thing or have I always lived my life in terms of other people's expectations? Have I fulfilled my dreams? Did I get my bucket list done? You know, um, relationships that maybe went awry that I always meant to resolve but never did. And what's next? Is this it? A whole person approach uh, would look at, yes, the symptom control, yes, the dignity piece in terms of the physical for the person, that you preserve the bodily integrity as much as possible. But you also look after the interior piece, which is their spirit. A spiritual need is that deepest need within myself to be at peace. You know, and we talk about peacefulness at the end of life, and that ultimately asks me to be at peace with myself, but also to be at peace with you. I think it's hugely about having the conversation. I think that's the bit that's missing, and that's the bit that ultimately will bring peacefulness. And what's that conversation about? And it is about the stuff that matters most.